Nintendo announced the final Smash Bros. Fighter, which means we won't get any new fighters. Unless a big nerd made his own Smash game and included new fighters. But we are in luck, because I happen to know three nerds, and I'm two of them. Do you want to know how I made this? Do you want me to make your favorite character? Do you want to know why your crush doesn't love you back? Then stick to the end of the video. So how did I make a Smash Bros game? First I created a new Unity project. Then we need to make the characters move around. So I programmed walking, running, short jumps, full jumps, air jumps and the most important mechanic death dancing and that's it it's that easy I definitely didn't spend three weeks programming a state machine an input buffer and a custom physics now this is pretty cool but it looks like crap since Mario is the most popular video game character ever, finding a free Mario 3D model is going to be a piece of cake. No. All your 3D models are ripped from official games. That's illegal, and I'm not doing illegal things. Today. So I opened Blender and made a Mario 3D model myself. It's maybe not great though, but it's honest work. Now, you can't make a fighting game without attacks, so I programmed and animated some of them, like das attacks, neutral attacks, some aerial attacks, and of course, smash attacks. I didn't make all the attacks, so we could say this is a light version of Smash Bros. More like Smash Step Bros. Now, I have to say that it's thanks to the competitive community that a dumbass like me has been able to recreate hitboxes, damage formulas and, well, Smash Bros. Awesome webs like Ultimate Frame Data and this damage calculator by Robendal have helped me a lot. You guys rock! Now, before I make the Among Us fighter, I need to recreate Mario's special moves. But first, I need something to test the attacks. Smash Bros has a sandbag, but this is a YouTube channel, so we are going to smash something else. Y you know, you could also smash... Anyway, after getting sandbag working, I spent another... ...recreating the special moves. First, I made the neutral special. Fireball. Then I made the side special, the cape. Headaches started here, because animating the cape wasn't easy. The up special was very tricky to set up to, because I'm kinda stupid. And finally, the down special. Very hard to, but as the saying goes, check out the Gabriel Aguirre YouTube channel about VFX tutorials. Perhaps you're wondering why I haven't programmed grabs or dodges. Well, to perform a grab you need to press the set button. But my controller's set button isn't working. Actually, my controller has just stopped working, so there's nothing I can do. Alright, there's no grab or dodges, but those are just two small features. I mean, what else does Smash Bros have that my game doesn't? Hey, 
Let's talk about the new fighter. All right, let's take a look at Sa's moveset. The neutral attack is based on the swipe card task. Both up and side smash attacks are based on imposter killing animations. When I was designing Sa's moveset, I wanted to tip the game feel of Among Us, but how can you make players feel like they are completing tasks and guessing who's the imposter in a fighting game? Well, here's what I've come up with. Attacks are tasks. When Sass connects an attack displayed on the list, that task is marked as completed. But what's the purpose of tasks, you may ask? The more tasks you complete, the stronger the side special attack will be. Now, Sass is actually three characters, just like Pokemon Trainer and you can switch between them using Dawn Special. Two of them are crew mates, and the third one is the imposter. And I made it so that you have to either knock out the imposter or both two crew mates to take a stock. That is, knocking out only one crew mate won't make Sass lose any stock. Now, what's the difference between crew mates and the imposter? Simple. Side special attack is stronger if you perform it with the imposter, thus, playing against Sass means you have to guess which one is the imposter, like in Among Us. Alright, next attack, up special, venting. This is pretty much like Zelda's up special. And finally, the neutral special, the emergency button. This attack doesn't deal any damage, but it has a high knockback. Um, so here I was supposed to reveal the battlefield I made, but I've just realized that I've already shown it when I explained the SAS moveset. So just pretend to be shocked when you see the battlefield reveal. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, we got the fighters, but the battlefield looks like shit. So I opened Blender and started to model my own battlefield. And after some time, I think I've made something that doesn't look too bad. Oh, I also made the battlefield. Now, we need to recreate the percentage interface, but obviously, I cannot use some simple fonts like Arial Bold. What? Real bold isn't that bad. Alright, we are at the end, and while I could totally play with two fighters at the same time, that's not how you are supposed to play the game. So now I have to program an AI, and as always, I have carefully chosen what kind of AI I'm going to program. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna complete three tasks and use Side Special to beat the hell out of this blunder. The bad thing about Sass is that they receive double damage, but they are three characters with a different percentage each, so let's switch crew mates. Ok, 3 tasks completed, time to switch to the imposter. Fight connect side... fucking missed. Alright, must keep the imposter safe, let's switch. Green damage is too high, and I don't like that. Damn, that was close. Okay, let's see what I can do with two tasks completed. 180, let's go, you, you, one, one more hit.
Well, that's all for today's video. For obvious reasons, I cannot release this prototype, but I could make more fighters, especially if you smash the subscribe button. And who knows, maybe I could make a poll or something so you could decide the next character. Anyway, stay weird and see you in the next video.